Okay, so you may have noticed a little difference coming into this particular video where once it said Melinda's musings, it is now wild chit chat. And I'm so excited to be shifting the way that I was bringing my thoughts to you because really a lot of my thoughts are informed by my relationship to nature. So this is why I thought it was very fitting for my first wild chit chat video to be coming to you from basically within my favorite tree. And right now her branches are holding my phone and so I'm very grateful to her for that. Um, but what I have recognized is that over the past seven or eight years, I've been in constant communication with animals, um, constant and I didn't recognize it as com animal communication until more recently. Um, but looking back, I'm like, man, I've been talking to animals since I was a little, little kid. And probably so have you. We were born with the ability to talk to animals, all of us, every single one of us, you, everyone. We have the ability to talk to animals. It's our birthright, we were born with it. And it's just a matter of somewhere along the line being told that it's not true, that we're just making stuff up, we're talking with our imaginary friends. Um, so I'm here to present Wild Chit Chat as my new Melinda's Musings so that I can start sharing more of my experiences in animal communication and hopefully hear from more of you about your experiences with animal communication. Um, so super excited about this. I can't wait to hear some of your stories. I'm excited to share with you some of mine. And I think that you'll find that when we're communicating with animals, I mean, it doesn't always look the way that we think it's going to, right? Like we think that those animal communicators that are out there, there's a car going by, I don't want it to disrupt those animal communicators out there who are able to talk to animals. It's like, man, they just know, like they're hearing something from these animals. That's not always the way that it works. As a matter of fact, most of the time, that's not the way that it works. The way that it works is by receiving a feeling from the animals or receiving pictures from the animals or um, just knowing what it is that the animal wants to communicate. I'm talking pets, wild animals, um, and also in spirit form. So it's a really, really exciting. Um, I'm super excited to start sharing all of this with you and my hopes is that in sharing my stories that you will then start to recognize some of your own and the ways in which you still have the ability to communicate with animals and to communicate with nature because it's not just the animals. The trees talk to us and can communicate with us just as much as plants and any of the animal beings. So. Um, so now I'm bringing it to you in a wild chit chat. I would love to hear from you. I think the an the ant, my ant friends are like starting to um, play on my feet. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think of what I have so many stories to share, but I think this video was really more about just introducing you to the fact that my YouTube channel is shifting just a little bit because while Chit Chat is not that far off from Melinda's musings, a lot of my musings came from um, information that I received through nature. So uh, there's not a whole big shift. The name is shifting. The stories that I'm telling will shift a little bit, but otherwise it's pretty much the same. I hope you enjoy wild chit chat.